Putin's army in the Kharkiv region is in a resource trap. The Russian occupation army continues to storm the Kharkiv region, but found itself in a disadvantageous situation. The forces and means of the enemy are not enough to conduct successful combat operations here. It is a resource trap, according to Osbo Revitel media outlet. At the same time, this is an ideal opportunity for the defense forces to significantly reduce the enemy's resources. Based on this logic, it is irrational to completely clear and close this direction now, because the enemy is forced to withdraw his forces here from the priority eastern direction and suffer heavy losses. At the same time, the armed forces should concentrate not only on defense, but also on counter-offensive. The most vulnerable for the occupiers is the Crimean Peninsula, as well as the Kirsch Bridge, especially in a situation where Ukraine received a new package of effective weapons from Western partners. Therefore, part of the forces can be directed to the southern part of the front. This opinion was expressed in an interview with Oboz Revitel by instructor pilot, reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, military expert Roman Svitan. If our actions in the Kharkiv region lead to the fact that the Russians, who have fallen into a resource trap, will transfer reserves here from Donetsk, then perhaps this will become one of our main tasks. Then the enemy will have no mechanisms to press and advance in the east, he added. Therefore, I would not say that the main task is to squeeze them out of this direction. In reality, we need to deploy the front line from Kharkiv Oblast to Belarus. The border with Russia should be the front line and should have been so for 10 years. The sooner we rebuild an additional front line, the better. Moreover, since we are in defense mode, it is more convenient for us to solve these issues. And the Russians must be forced to attack, because during an attack, the loss ratio is very high. Based on this logic, we should not squeeze them out, but destroy them. The more, the better. Recently, thanks to the increase in aid supplies from our partners, we can afford it in the Kharkiv direction, Roman Svitan said. A missile attack has been launched on Crimea and Sevastopol city in the peninsula, local telegram channels reported. The strikes were reportedly carried out by the Ukrainian army with the use of storm shadow missiles on the Balaklavsky thermal power plant and the territory of the military unit. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. The governor of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev, said that the air defense system was activated and five missiles were shot down. He also said that several cars were damaged during the attack. No casualties have been reported so far. Вот только дошел звук. Нихуя себе. Ценный кадр. Охуительно. Блять, склад какой-то. Там же воинская часть, нахуй. Вон, огоньки всякие. Вон взрыв. Прям, ого, бабахнуло, смотри. Вот это, блядь, вот это да нахуй. Да, Димочка, блядь, ты на, на, на нормальном месте, блядь, купил, блядь, дом, участок.